Hello Pisces, this is Renee and welcome back. Pisces, this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at love, money, and a general message. So stick around. If this message resonates with you, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more. Okay, not all of my readings are going to resonate. Now, for love, we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, so there's some kind of passion that you may be feeling or that's coming into your life, Pisces. Very passionate time. Let's take a look at your money. Let's take a look at your money. We have your dream needs a, a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Okay. okay, and we'll get some angel cards for your general reading. Message for Pisces. Okay, we have outdoors. Archangel Japhiel. Go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So Pisces, get out and about and get out into that nature. Feel that, you know, um, fresh air surrounding you. I feel like that's gonna help you connect more to, um, to your higher power, right? So let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what is going on for Pisces. What is going on for Pisces, please? Message for Pisces. Message for Pisces. Okay, so we have the Judgment card. Wow. Okay, we have the Five of Cups. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, okay. For your money, we have... Six of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. And for your general message, we have Oh, the Chariot is coming out in reverse. Why aren't you moving? The Seven of Wands and the Four of Cups. You're stuck in your head, Pisces. Wow. Okay. So let's take a look at your message. For your message in love, Pisces. I feel like something is an awakening in you, right? It could be this passion. It could be a lot of passion that you're feeling at the moment. Um, basically... I feel like there is something that you're letting go of. You may be grieving in some way. You may be becoming more spiritual due to grieving and spending a lot of time alone. Um, but with this, I really feel like you're connecting with your higher power rather than this passion. Why do I feel that, Pisces? We have the, the Ace of Cups on the bottom. So I, I feel like, you know, you're waiting on something to arrive. I feel like it hasn't arrived yet. You know, you're waiting on this new love, on some kind of love being offered to you. It hasn't shown itself yet, but I feel like it will, Pisces. And I feel like when this new love shows itself, I feel like it's going to be very, very solid. 
Someone's very sincere when they're offering you this cup. Look at this, the Two of Cups, King of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Ace of Cups. Oh, the lovers, wow. So you have the Two of Cups and then the lovers. This is passion, but I feel like this is coming. I feel like this hasn't arrived yet, Pisces, because I feel like you're kind of going through this spiritual phase. You're spending a lot of time alone right now, so I don't feel like this offer has come yet. Very interesting. Give me a timeline for this offer. For some of you, give me a timeline. When is this love going to arrive? When is Pisces going to feel this passion? Give me a message, Spirit. Two months. Wow. Very specific. Two months. At the bottom you have, you have to remain constantly positive once that happens within two months. Very interesting. I feel like this is very strong love coming to you, Pisces. This is very strong love coming to you. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. The lovers again. Along with the Eight of Wands. Communication. Someone's giving up the nerve to talk to you. They're getting up the nerve to ask you out. They haven't, yeah, look at this. They haven't did it yet. They, they don't have their confidence high enough <laughs> to approach you just yet. They're working on it. They're currently kind of battling themselves. Are you going to accept, you know, the Three of Cups? I, I feel like they're waiting for the opportune moment. Yeah, that's what I feel, Pisces. I feel like they're going to wait for the opportune moment. Tell me more about this, Spirit. Give me more messages for Pisces. Tell me about this love that's approaching Pisces. Tell me more about this energy. Give me a message for Pisces. The Magician. Yeah, they're building up the nerve. Look at this, the Ten of Cups. They're building up the nerve, the sun. You make them very happy. Oh my gosh, Pisces. You make them very happy. Oh my goodness. They feel so strong around you. But they're very curious. I feel like they want to know more. But they just haven't got up the nerve to take the action. You know, they're working on that, but they're very curious. You have really sparked their curiosity. But you make them very happy. Wow. Interesting. I'm liking this. Okay, let's talk about Pisces money. For Pisces money, I feel like there's a lot of success here. I feel like you're setting your priorities. There's something that you're not backing down from. It could be an opportunity. It could be some kind of financial gain that you're looking for. But like it says, I feel like what you're thinking about pursuing, you know, you have the option of being very successful in what you're doing if you set your priorities right and you don't give up. I feel like this, whatever you're trying to put into action, Pisces, it's going to take time. Your dream needs a practical plan. You know, it needs thinking. You need to think this out. Okay? Tell me about Pisces money. Give me a message for Pisces money, please. I feel like you're balancing stuff out. Look at this. The Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, whatever this is, it's going to bring you a lot of success. I feel like you're currently manifesting this energy, but I feel like whatever this energy is, whatever that you're trying to pursue right now, Pisces, I feel like you're going at it with 
a drive. You are driven to succeed, right? And I feel like there's going to be a lot of um, prosperity there for you. There's going to be abundance. The money is going to be flowing in. But you just need not to give up. You know, it's going to take some time. You're going to have to set your priorities and plan, right? And then once you do all of those things, it's time to take action. And it's time to move forward in the direction you need to go in order to take advantage of this opportunity, right? There's no need to hold yourself back. There's no need to worry about what's coming because... You know, it, it, there's offers on the table, even if the opportunity doesn't quite pan out at first. I feel like stick in there and success is on the way. Okay? Um, stick in there, Pisces. Right? Don't give up. Don't give up because you're so close. You're so close to achieving your goal. Look at that. You're the queen of wands. Driven, assertive, taking action, being bold, you know, you know, not taking no for an answer. I feel like that's coming and all the wisdom, all the knowledge that you're gaining during any of these failures that you may have. If one idea doesn't succeed, keep going, keep working because you're learning from every time you have a failed opportunity the next one could very possibly be that winning opportunity that you're looking for, right? It's time to take action. It's time to get moving, get going, okay? So beautiful energy. Now over here for your general energy, well, let's go ahead and clarify real quick before we get into this. Let's go ahead and clarify for Pisces money. Go ahead and clarify. Okay, the Six of Cups. Gifts, opportunities, um, helping out family, you know, teaming up with someone. You know, that's going to spark your creativity by teaming up with someone. I feel like someone is here to help you build. Okay, someone is here to help you thrive and get through any hurdles that you may see, any obstacles that you come across. You know, two minds are always better than one, right? Two minds are always better than one. So keep that in mind, Pisces. Okay, now over here in your general energy, I keep getting ahead of myself. You have the chariot on the bottom. So keep following your path. Keep following your path, okay? And I keep wanting to go to this general energy because it's just like pulling me over there, okay? Um, getting out in the outdoors. But I feel like for some reason, you're kind of going in the opposite direction of where you need to be going, okay? Why are you veering off to the left when you should be going to the right? Okay, that's something that you may need to ask yourself because I feel like there's some kind of defensive energy here. Definitely, I feel like there's something that you're guarding. Um, I also feel like you're really caught in your head with this Four of Cups energy. You're caught in your head. You're overthinking. You may be getting bored with the situation or feeling like, you know, Something just doesn't appreciate you the way that it should, right? Give me a message for this general energy for Pisces. What is this energy? Why is Pisces going the opposite direction? Why are they going to the left when they should be going to the right? Right? Give me a message for Pisces. <laughs> oh, wish fulfillment. Yeah. I feel like you're going to the left because you want to. Because that's where you're drawn. You're drawn the opposite direction. Why are you drawn the opposite direction? The 
why aren't you following the path that leads you? The Seven of Swords. Okay. Okay, you're, you're going in the opposite direction because you feel like what you're dreaming about, what you're wishing about may not be a possibility, right? You feel like if you go in the opposite direction, if you do something opposite of what you've been doing, that that may be the key to your success. Why am I getting that? Tell me more, Spirit. The Ten of Cups. And the King of Pentacles. I definitely feel like you're trying to be happy, but what you thought was very fulfilling isn't. What you thought was something that you wished for makes you feel like you're going nowhere. It makes you feel like you're stuck, like something's being taken away from you, like, like you're a prisoner in your own mind. So that's the reason why you're going in the wrong direction, because you're pursuing happiness. And you're not quite sure where to find it, but you know that you want stability. But you're, you're constantly going through healing. Look at this. We have the Three of Swords in reverse, the Six of Swords in reverse. We had the Chariot in reverse. So right now, Pisces, you're stuck. But you're really looking for some stability. You're looking to feel solid, to be whole again. You know, you're stuck in your thoughts. You're stuck in your feelings. And you really don't see a possible way out. It's because you have this Four of Cups energy. You're just feeling like, when is this tower going to happen? When is this going to happen? Because it's almost like you're manifesting this tower. Because you are so caught up in your emotions and feeling so unsatisfied at the moment, right? There's a new beginning ahead, but you're not able to take this new beginning because you're like feeling upside down waiting on this depression on this tower. And you're not able to see this new beginning. You're not able to take any action, right? Because you're still processing. You're not able to get the stability. You just know that you want love. That's all you know. That's all you know. I feel like I, I feel like there's someone who's blinding you. For some of you. This is just for some of you, Pisces. But I feel like there's someone who's kind of blinding you. There's someone who is almost the word I keep getting is brainwashing, but that's not the right word. That's not what I want to say. But someone's keeping you reversed. Someone's keeping you. I mean, look at this. You're more concerned about this tower and this nine of swords than you are this new beginning and moving forward. Finding stability, right? You can't communicate. You just feel like everything's going wrong. Nothing's right. Everything's going wrong. It's all bad, right? <laughs> right? Okay? And I hear you, Pisces, but I don't like this energy. Okay. Uh, give me a message for Pisces. Let's clarify this for Pisces. What can Pisces do to get out of this stuck energy? Advice, please. Advice for Pisces to get out of this stuck energy. The Knight of Pentacles. Say, like, take some time. Take some time to get the answers that you need. That's your advice. Take some time. To get the answers that you need. Then. Once you receive your answers. 
once you receive the information that you need, then you'll be able to move forward. But I feel like Pisces, you're stuck. You're in the stuck energy. You're not able to move forward. You're not able to move back. You're just in this stuck energy. You're at a standstill. And you're going to be at a standstill until something is resolved. Once you get that information, you'll be able to move forward. Right? But you're not able to take this new beginning until you get the answers that you need. Because look at this. Yeah. You're, you're still caught in your head. You're caught in your emotions. Look, you're weak. You don't have the strength to move forward because you're going through change. That's the current stuck energy. You are in this transformation. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you're transforming. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. Yes. The King of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. You're looking for happiness. You're looking for meaning. You feel very misunderstood. You know, you're trying to find the prosperity at the end of the rainbow, whether that's in love, in money, in your life in general. I feel like you're looking for that pot of gold and you're trying to find the meaning to it, Pisces. But everything is kind of misconstrued, right? And all you want to do is take action, but you don't know where. You don't know if you want to take action towards love. That feels upside down. You don't know whether you're gaining any enlightenment. That's upside down. You know, all you feel is these burdens. You know, you feel like you can't even leave anything behind because you don't know what to leave behind. You know? All I feel is kind of confusion. Stuck energy. Okay, let's get some angel cards for Pisces. Let's get an angel message for Pisces. We have focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high and expect the best possible outcome. Okay? Um, we also have Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answers you seek. Trust what you know. Okay. At the bottom, Pisces, we have Call to Action. Take charge. Lead by example. Walk your talk. You know... Pisces, sometimes you talk a good game, but can you back it up? Right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get your angel number. Let's get your angel number, Pisces. Yeah, reflection. See, that's exactly what I'm saying here. Reflection. When you allow time for reflection, you allow yourself to see where inner shifts are needed. It is time for you to look at your beliefs and ask, is this serving me or is it time for me to release this? Reflect, refocus, readjust. Okay. Your affirmation, as I refocus on what serves my highest good, I feel myself shift into my highest self. Okay, So there needs to be time for reflection in order to really connect with your higher self, Pisces. That's basically what this reflection is saying. That, you know, it's time to dive deep and 
start to connect. That's the reason why we have this card here for the outdoors. Because sometimes when you need to reflect on something, when you need to connect to your higher self, to the higher power, getting out into nature will actually help you do that. Getting out into God's beautiful earth, right? That is what helps you connect to nature, to the higher, to the higher power, to your highest self. Okay, so Pisces, I hope this reading receives you well. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, feel free to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more. Okay, and until your next reading, Pisces, many, 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 many blessings to you. Love and light.